All right, guys, today's project is this van, spare tire rack, fully sandblasted, prepped, just gassed out. It's getting in a zinc primer and then a satin black, non texture, just a flat color. Here is the zinc primer. There's still some pitting, but there's nothing I'm going to do about that. This is hot flocked on right now to get into all the tight spaces and give it all a good even coverage. Then once this cools down, I'm going to apply the ground again and spray it with what I like to call the mist coat. And that's just a thin coat at the end. It just blends it all together in case you had any uh, highs and lows or like that when you were spraying it a little hot. But I use it to get into these crevices. It's the best way I've found to just pull it out hot and give it a spray like down into these deep grooves. Cause you're not gonna be able to get in there when you're just doing power to it. It's really hard, powder doesn't stick in those areas and it's hard to penetrate in. Same with these corners down here. I can actually spray a little bit more, so I'm gonna touch that spot. All right, I got a little bit more penetration down in these areas. Just a quick little spray on. And then in these corners, I just sprayed a little bit extra, especially on this side. I noticed that it could have been a little bit closer to that corner, but now we're good to go. This is what I mean by the mist, mist coat. It's like fuzzy looking. It means it's not melted so that this will give it a nice finish once it flows out. This is only gonna be in at 400 degrees for five minutes before it gets sprayed with black. But yep, it's silk satin black is going to be the color of this. Zinc primer right now it's in. I'm gonna use a hopper for this one. For the primer, I just did like a box method siphon. This is a satin black again, a little bit of a hot flock. It's not super thick. You have to be careful when you're spraying it warm. You can go too thick. And uh, now it's gonna cool down and then I'll give it a nice mist coat at the end and then bake it out for 10 minutes at 400 and it will be done. Again, this is a mist coat at the end. As you can see, it's fuzzy. It's not shiny or anything like that. This is what you want. It's gonna give it a nice, perfect finish, a nice, thick coating. Now I'm gonna put that in the oven for 10 minutes. All right, it's still really hot. I just pulled it out, but you can see it's like a satin finish now. It's shiny, but not, not super shiny. It still looks nice. It came out sweet though. Customer's gonna be super happy. This is what it looks like finished. You can still see some pitting, but like I said, I wasn't fixing that. There's a little bit there. It's a satin, so it's not, it doesn't reflect the light very much. Looks really good. This goes on a conversion van. Uh, I think it's a Chevy. It's a really old one from like the 80s or 90s. I don't remember exactly what, but it's pretty sweet. He's going to be happy. Like I said, it has a zinc primer, which helps prevent any corrosion and rusting from happening. The zinc in it is superficial so that it stops anything. And so it's just going to make it last longer because he really wants this to last as long as possible. So we did a crazy amount of prep, made sure it was perfect for him, and he's going to love the results.